Hi folks and welcome back to Fishing with Den. Well today I'm on a, a deeper venue and I've never actually fished this uh, before and the only reason I know it's deep is because I chucked a, a deeper fish finder across it uh, some time ago and I know that out there it's sort of 12 to 14 feet deep and from the bank here it slopes down quite steadily and then just evens out and I'm going to try and fish around about where the slope becomes the flat bit just that little crease there and the problem is I mean I could use a pole but I think it's outside pole range to get to that and I may well be on the slope and I could use a Polaris float ledger in float or a lock slide but with that I'd actually have to be fishing on the bottom all day and uh, so what I've decided to do which you haven't seen me do before is to fish with a slider float normal slider now I have done a video on how to set these things up so I'm not going to go into any major detail but basically what we've got this is a 13 foot rod and if I hold the thing up you can see how the float just traveled back towards me it's just free running that's all there is to it and what we have up there is a stop knot and a little bead so that basically when this bulk shot goes in that sinks the float travels up the line when it gets to the bulk shot sorry to the the stop knot it stops and cocks the hook which is right the way down here it's actually if I show you the depth the hook is on the hook keeper here and the knot is just by the tip of the rod which you may or may not be able to see in this the shot but basically I've got about 11 12 feet of water where I'm fishing as I say the rods 13 feet so let's call it 11 and a half feet where I'm fishing and I've got six pound main line on um, slightly smaller bottom and a size 14 hook and all I'm going to do is put on a piece of sweet corn and cast it out as I say if you're not sure about how this is all working just have a look at the other video I'll put a, a link up above so you can see what's what but really just a question of casting out bring it back And then allowing the bulk shot to take the, uh, the the bait down and then the float rises to the surface and there it is i'm going to put four balls of ground bait around the float oops <laughs> nearly fell over my box it's a little bit spread out but that's actually semi-intentional um, I'm going to put a bit of loose feed around there as well and hopefully within the next sort of half to three quarters of an hour we should have a bite I haven't actually set the clutches, just realised he's got a new reel on this. Yeah, oh, that stump. <laughs> it's just underwater, you won't be able to see it, but it's just there. Probably about six or eight metres out and just under the surface. Looks like an old fence post or something. How on earth that can be there, I don't know. Yeah. Well, hopefully this will be the first fish. Don't think he's all that big, it's just that he doesn't want to come in. Fighting fit. But you can see how the float's right down by the bulk shot now, so I'm not playing the, the fish with the float 11 feet up in the air, it's just about 4 feet, just like it was a normal shallow pond.
Alright. We have a long way down again. Might need the old leg assist <laughs> for the landing net. Surprisingly smaller than I thought. But very welcome, first fish. Well, that can't be bad, can it? <laughs> right. I'd guess at about four pounds. Which is a surprise, because I really thought it was bigger than that when I first hooked it. Put that down there in a sec. I'll show it to you because it's the first one, but... There we go, look, three or four pounds ish, something like that. But that works for me. That's the first fish. This time, maybe? Pretty sure there's something in and around the bait, but whether it's just liners or not, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> One jump next to my float. GoPro, start recording. I didn't realise I was recording then as I struck. Oh, hum. Oh, and it's take me down there, and there's something solid down there. <sighs> it wasn't even a big fish, but that is absolutely solid. Ah, dear, oh dear. One of those days, I think. Pull for a break. Okay, something gave way anyway, whether it was me or whatever that snag was, I don't know. It was... Yep, the hook length as expected. Well, that's what they're designed for, isn't it? Ah, here, dear, dear. Get a new one on, get back out there. At least it was a carp, though. Right, got a new hook on. At least I'm getting bites. Out there at the moment. They're forecasting rain for later on, and it's a bit overcast at the moment, so we'll see how this goes. Sinking the line. That's it. Okay. See if we get a bite straight away. I don't know what that snag is down there. It just suddenly went solid. I know it wasn't all that big a fish. Pound and a half maybe it felt. Start recording. Sliding away. Rising up. Yeah. Lift bites on the um, slider weren't what I expected. Still, it's a fish. Not a big one. But lift bites. Oh, drop my landing net now. I'm in one of those days, aren't I? This is probably where I've fallen now off this steep bank. Ugh. <laughs> What a day! Try again. Yeah, away from that side, whatever that snag is, I don't want to go any near it. Or you going near it even. There's a piece of something sticking out of the water. That's a growth or something, I think. Looks like a stick that's withered a bit. And down here there's some cuttings off the trees that are in the water. Right, well that's two anyway. I'm just fishing double sweet corn on the hook at the moment.
Right, there's the hook. He's probably three pound. I'm not going to show him to you. Not for a three pound, really. Ooh, yay! <laughs> Pretty much straight away by the time it got to the bottom. It's a bit bigger, maybe. He's cruising around down there and like he's uh, totally unconcerned. Just don't go down to that snag, whatever it is. It might be quite a decent fish, actually. Because he's going that way and I can't really do much about it. Give him some pressure. Get out of it. Oh, that was a big fish. I saw it on the surface and I pulled out. Oof. Well, there she goes to show there are some big fish in here. I may have been giving that one a bit too much pressure, but I really was trying to keep it out of that snag. I just saw it about a foot under the surface. Well, are there massive fish in here or not? We shall see. GoPro, start recording. <laughs> I should have left the recording on because I'd no sooner got the thing on the bottom than it had gone under. And this one's not as big by any means as the other ones, but now it's down on that stump down there. Well, it's a snag pit this place, isn't it? At least I should uh, have no problems getting this in unless there's more snags down there, but this is far smaller than the ones I lost. But literally, seconds and it was gone. I don't know, what's this, three fish? And <laughs> probably three or four lost, at least. Tell you what though, the old slider method's working, isn't it? It's a good strong rod this, it's a Drennan Series 7 13 foot power waggler which I haven't used for quite a long time. I just uh, didn't want to tackle down one of my other rods with the 3 or 4 foot deep rigs on and this was lying in the cupboard. Now I have actually snapped the tip off this one in the past, just the first few inches and put a new tip on so I don't know how much that changes the action but it's a good powerful rod, I'll give it that. Right, come on fish. Okay, so that's three then. I want to get one of these big ones in. Ooh. Yeah, three pounds or so. Right, we're back in. Bait's just settled. I'm obviously doing something right. The only thing is I'm also doing things wrong. But the good news is the slider part's the right bit. Morris has come to join me because he's not catching anything. No, not yet. <laughs> not at the moment. Well, you've had your one fish, haven't you, mate? Yeah, I've had two good bites as well. Just that, I never felt a thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I've been dropping them off, and uh, obviously I've lost fish, but they've also just been pulling out. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I've just gone to a size... Hang on. There we are. Right, this is a size 12 hook. And... I'm not sure about the size of this one at the moment. I don't think it's all that big feeling. And there's a big stump. Can you see that stump down in the water down there? Just round by it. See where the float is? Come round to the, the right there, and there's a stump. Is that now? Yeah. yeah. And then there's another snag just down there. <laughs> oh, I'm having one of them days. It's not actually a big fish, this one. They go, though, don't they, eh? I couldn't believe it. I haven't mind, mate. Yeah, exactly. I've dropped my landing net trying to get it in. I've had a right day today so far, mate. We've only been here, what, hour and a half? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to feel Yeah. This one's relatively small, but yeah. they're so fit, aren't they? Oh, yeah. More muscle. Yeah, definitely. And in great looking condition. Yep. Right? Well, they've never been caught, have they, as well? So yeah. that's good. Now, this is one of the smaller variety. I've yet to get a big one in. I mean, I'm putting loads of pressure on these, but those ones that I lost, I just couldn't stop. Yeah. There you go. So far, we're... What's that, four we got? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you go back and catch a few fish, mate, yeah, eh? I will. <laughs> so 
<laughs> yeah, as usual. <laughs> See you later. Uh, get a couple more balls out there as well. Oops, and I think the float was about to go. <laughs> Now we're okay. Well, I'm enjoying this anyway. Apart from all the fish I'm losing, but heart stopping moments sometimes, isn't it? And just a little sort of a, and again now, is it going to go? No, yes, yeah. Okay, we'll hit it. There we go. Now, where's this one off to? He's not all that big again, I feel by the, the jerks, but I've got to get out of that snag that's right down there, so I'm really piling pressure on him. He's fairly close to the surface, which is quite good, and I've got enough power in this rod to do what I need to do. <laughs> He's actually not all that big. Amazing. Ooh. Tighten the clutch a bit more. I really don't want to get to a situation on those big ones that I have to be messing around with the clutch while I'm trying to pull it away from those trees. Or well, the branches of the trees in the water anyway. It's actually not all that big at all, this one really. Yeah, probably looking in the two and a half, three pound range, I guess. And I'm struggling with this. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not good enough. Right, oh yeah, at least three. Yeah, three, three and a half, I'd say. Just gotta get one of these big ones in somehow. If this thing will keep still, I could get about that. And. Just a little sort of a and again now. Is it gonna go? No, yes, yeah. okay, we'll get it. There we go. Well, it's gone off slowly, which often means a decent fish. At least he's gone to the right this time. I don't know if there's any snags down there, but hey, oh, he's not that big. He's just, well, <laughs> maybe I should just slacken this off a little bit. <laughs> well, he's under that tree now. I, oh. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. What a day. A momentary lapse of concentration, and now I'm in that tree. Ah, Gordon Bennett. Right, this could be a retackling job here. <sighs> GoPro, stop recording. Well, I'm back out there, but it's about 10 minutes later. A momentary lapse of concentration. It's in that tree down there. I just looked away for a second while I did the clutch and I was in it and I lost the whole rig so I've had to retackle up and go from there. Bit of a disaster darling as they say on gum dancing. <laughs> still, still a nice day. The rain hasn't started yet but that's due slightly later but getting a bit cloudy looking. Well I'm wondering if the fish have moved up in the quarter column a little bit so I'm going to go about 18 inches shallower and see how that goes. Just tighten that sliding stop not just a little bit. And we'll see how we get on. Okay. So now I should be, as I say, at least a foot off the bottom because I was slightly over there before. Always worth trying this. Trouble is I'm having a little bit of difficulty in sinking the line. Uh, as you can see I'm sort of got the rod under the water. Um, trying to sink it by reeling back in a little bit. I've tried whipping it up but that takes me forever. So now it's I'm finding I can allow the float to do most of the work for me by pulling back. So let's see if we get anything. 
is this time I'm gonna hit it. Yes. Oof. Right, where are you fish? Off to the left again. Not a big one this one, I can feel it. I just want to catch one of those really big ones again. He's right under my feet now. At least I'm still catching the odd fish. Slowed down a bit since I uh, lost all those fish and messed around with getting snagged up and things. I think this one's probably the smallest one so far. But a fish is a fish is a fish nevertheless. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's five or six now. Lovely condition again though. Probably about three pounds. GoPro, start recording. Well, that'd be right. It wouldn't it? I just went to pour out a cup of tea and I looked to my left at the float and it was going under. <laughs> Well, at least I struck on time, that was the main thing. Now, uh, where are we? We're off down this way again, are we? Gotta be careful of that great big tree in the water. And that stump down there. <laughs> this place is a real snag pit. Uh, no, get out of it. Uh. Ah. Another snag. <sighs> Definitely time for tea right around that stump and another hook bites the dust <sighs> some days eh right well I've got yet another new hook on and uh, I'll get back out there I'm not getting all that many bites now what I've just done is to put some more ground bait out and uh, hope that that brings them onto the bottom. But there's a great big cloud coming up, and they are saying 80% chance of up to 10 millimetres of rain today, so might need to be careful there. But I'll go back to having that cup of tea now. Excuse my back. <laughs> Still, it's a day out fishing, isn't it? Can't complain. <laughs> Talk about a lift bite, wow. That must have taken off the bottom and just literally risen out up to the top. Right, where is he this time? Coming towards me fast. Now kiting to the left of that snag. No, 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 no. Get out that snag. <laughs> well, I haven't seen a lift float bite like that on a sliding float for quite some time. Not even a massive, fi massive fish. The big ones seem to have done a runner. Okay. Clouds looking ominous up there. <laughs> yeah, probably about four. Don't know how many that is now, but I've probably lost more than I've caught anyway. Still, it's the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? guys I didn't catch the start of this one on the uh, the GoPro I did catch it on the 
other camera down there and it was another one of those huge lift bites and this one is a bit bigger and a bit stronger now which snag is it gonna find there's plenty of them it would appear there we are trying to see what I'm doing here all right he's down to my right and he's fairly close in down to that great big log that's in the water and he's pulling towards it I've tightened the clutch down a bit and he's still right underneath that log and he's trying to get me in it he's, he's solid in something I'm pulling that log out of the oh I can feel the grating ah dear oh dear right we're out of the log and about a meter away from it now Ooh. That's one thing about this Guru drag line, you can drag things with it. Ooh. <laughs> now he's taken off, he's going around that way, look. You know, <laughs> I'll be lucky if I get this one in. Too many snags, and it's now going round the stump again. I know you can't see that, but it's just down there where the float is. Obviously on the bottom, because it's stuck in there, and I'm just in front of it now. And now it's backwards and forwards in front of it. I've got a chance with this one. It doesn't pull out. Put a lot of pressure on it. It loves that stump, I'll give it that. I just had me a cup of tea and a lunch. So this was good. But the fish must be going down to the bottom and then rising up again. So. I have tried coming up off the bottom already, that didn't work, but I might try it again shortly. Alright, I think we're getting there. It's not even a massive fish, it's just got lots and lots of power. Come on, fish. Here we go. Okay. Oof. Well, he's actually quite a good fish. Short and stocky. And it looks like the hook's come out. Oh no, it's not. It's just the float moved down. Right, let's get this hook out and we'll have a look at where we're at. Oh, and it swallowed it too. So, tighten up and get the hook out. Well, as I say, it's not the longest of fish, but it's very, very thick. And it's got a big old gob. And I'm not going to chance dropping it because there's rocks down there. But I reckon that's a good eight, nine pounds. Well, given that we've been getting those bites which lifted the float up, it obviously means that fish are moving up in the water column. Whether they're taking there or not remains to be seen. So I've just gone about two feet shallower, which will take me probably, I don't know, 18 inches off the bottom because I was laying on a little. And uh, we'll see what happens again. This is why I wanted to fish this rig today, because, as I said, if I'd fished the float ledger with a Polaris or a lock slide or something like that, I'd have had to stay on the bottom. This way, I can search the whole water column. Trouble is the wind's getting up now, and uh, I don't know how much longer we've got before the rain starts. bounced it. <laughs> well at least I've had a bite off the bottom. Right. I was feeding um, pellets and corn out there for a while and I suspect what happened was that they moved too far up in the water column and I uh, wasn't getting bites on the bottom. So 
I put the ground bait in to try and get them to go back down because I wanted to show you the slider today but under any other circumstances I'll probably put a pellet waggler or something on or a loaded float of some variety anyway and uh, gone out there and uh, tried to catch fairly shallow I don't think I'd be catching this shallow but I might be catching this shallow Oh! <laughs> Missed it! <laughs> oh dear No, I didn't miss it I've got a scale look So this goes to show they are off the bottom as well Okay I'm just going to put one piece of corn on this time but it's a great big one Well, I've just gone another two feet shallower and I've put a pellet on just to see if they come up in the water and it started to rain. So they reckon five to ten millimetres today so I hope this uh, is only a quick shower but if it gets too heavy we'll have to call it quits with that I'm afraid and recall this another day or re revisit this another day anyway. The rain's getting heavier and I am actually getting bobs on the float but I'm going to have to shut this camcorder down because that's definitely not waterproof and this rain's getting heavier now so unfortunately guys that uh, means you won't be seeing any bites close up on that one again today unless the rain stops I'll cover it with this cloth for now, cloth for now. I'm going to have to be careful with the GoPro as well because although they're waterproof when they're on their own and they've got all these wireless microphones attached to them they're not and also obviously I've got batteries underneath it and so on so <clears throat> we'll see how we go but I can't give it much longer before I have to shut those down as well sorry guys looks like we're gonna have to shut this one down a little bit earlier than I wanted to um, hopefully you've seen uh, me slider fishing and uh, got some enjoyment out of this video I've enjoyed it even though I've had a lot of frustrations today with losing fish and snagging up and uh, and so on but look it's all in a day's fishing Unfortunately, I've got to close down because the, the GoPro is just not waterproof with all those uh, bits hanging off it. So um, I'm just going to have to... Oh, I just had a, a bite and I'm actually only fishing about six feet deep. <laughs> well, I had a liner anyway. I might just try and carry on for a bit, but unfortunately, I am going to have to shut the, the video down for the camera's purposes. Anyway, as always, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. If you want to subscribe, yep, you can do that too. And until the next time, Bye for now.